what's going on everybody uh, welcome to your 15th jQuery tutorial in which we'll be discussing about some special selectors in jQuery now basically in this tutorial we'll be not learning about jQuery but kind of CSS selectors some special CSS selectors which you could use in jQuery as well so in the last tutorials we have been using just simple CSS selectors like ID then we are using a class and then we are using a element selector so sounds pretty simple isn't it but we have some more bad boy selectors which are kind of some wildcard selectors and could be used for selecting a wide range of elements and not just typing a hell lot of code for just selecting some elements so first of all I would like to start with let's say I have element A, A, B, C, and we see B as D, E, F. Now suppose I want to apply a event handler or kind of an action to both of these. So instead of doing like this dot something and this dot something, what can I do is I would just remove the one and I would just place both of these together and would separate them with a comma just like you do in a CSS file so what would happen is jQuery would select both of these and would apply this event method or whatever you call down here to both of these so this was about first now the next thing we have is the wildcard now this wildcard basically is a star now this star down here means that apply something this event to every element in the document so let me show you an example let's console log this let's see what happens and here we have our browser down here so let's check out the console and we get nine elements so what they are HTML head meta title script two scripts the one is jQuery one uh, here you go the one is jQuery and the second is our own script then we have body div a div b context document which contains the properties then we have length then we have some jQuery uh, basically JavaScript objects and methods links linked in the prototype chain then we have selector then we have prototype chain so the basically now star applies to every selector and if we do like star dot CSS let's say background and let's say yellow now what would happen is we'll refresh this and in the DOM section when we see then HTML is applied background yellow, head is applied yellow, body is applied yellow, then we have A applied yellow, B applied yellow, and all the way to all the elements. The reason this was not applied because this is inserted by some of those extension down here as I told you in the previous tutorial. So don't worry about the style tag. This is nothing but some sort of code inserted by some of the extensions in my Chrome browser. Okay, so the next thing we have is a uh, contain selector now what that means is for example we have class my diff then I have class my diff so these two have same classes but let's say I have a sentence I am coding in jQuery I love JavaScript so let's suppose I want to edit the sentence which has the word jQuery so what I'll do is I'll go to my jQuery file I'll write dot my div uh, let's say uh, okay we have my div as uh, the class and we'll I'll write a colon and contains a bracket and we'll supply the word we want to check for let's say jQuery and uh, now we are targeting only this div because this div contains jQuery if I create a copy of this then we'll target both of these 
no matter if I change the order of the sentence or change the contents but the word jaguar should be present so let's uh, we have already applied the styles so let's refresh this page and I guess uh, you can see that the first two are highlighted because they are having the word jQuery in them and the last one is not highlighted though having the same class because it doesn't contain any word jQuery so moving real quick let's get to the next special selector and we have let's create a link some external site.com Internal site uh, let's say create an internal link a path index.html so now we have external links as this one and internal links starting from a path so supposedly I want to target every external link in my document with the help of jQuery selector so what I'll do is I'll go ahead and would write a which is our tag name and then I would write href okay so let's me explain the attribute selector first instead of these so let's say I have some span tags and let's say span close span open span close span and let's say I give data XYZ some task so suppose I want to select only this tag so since this data XYZ is a custom attribute therefore we don't have any dot or hash to select this span so what I'll do is down here I would type span dot and I'll copy this attribute down here and would write it in a angular brackets so what would happen is it would locate this span tag and it would search for this attribute down here for inside any span tag and once it encountered that and we'll just console log this so here we go now let's write something inside this anything would go and let's reload this and here you go we get only the span of the sum task data xyz and let's write in this for the verification and as you can see we don't get any content except this data xyz attribute so he here's how you target attributes with the your elements so coming back to the stuff we were talking about uh, we have this link down here which is one is external and the second one is internal so let's target the external links and let's see how we do that so down here let's first of all target the a element and uh, down here let's create href equals uh, let's say HTTP now what would happen is it would target every link which is only HTTP so basically then this selector down here would target this link but it completely makes no sense we don't want this so what we want is any link starting with HTTP should be targeted and to do that we use the symbol which is above 6 on your number on your keyboard so just hold shift and press 6 on your keyboard hopefully and you'll get this uh, kind of up arrow and this means that select every a link having href attribute and starting with HTTP so what it would do is it would select every external link in your site and would ignore all the other links so let's say dot we'll use dot CSS background black and color white so it would change all the external links to black background and white color as you can see external sites are changed to black background and internal are unaffected so let's change it to some other URL let's say Google uh, let's say Google and so on then it would return us black background and white link color for external websites so that's how you use the href and 
the up arrow and the selector and basically you could do this for anything for any attribute you want for example if I create a span class my own class one two three and ABCD and span class my own four three five or whatever you want and write DEF so what would happen is let's use this I'll write class and I'll do the same thing but I'm using to check every class inside the span tag which starts with my own keyword so we have one and two which starts with own keyword so it would target both of these so let's refresh this and let's see what happens how we get both of these as blacked though they don't have anything common between them okay so next thing we have just like uh, this symbol down here on the shift uh, on the six number is used to target anything starting with we have the dollar sign which is used to target anything ending with so by this what I mean is let's say I have ABC and I have down here ABC so I'll do ABC now what would happen is it would target all the classes inside the span tag ending with ABC it doesn't care about what is in the starting what it just means is it would target only the classes having ABC at their extreme end so let's refresh this and as the same result we get the same thing down here so this could be useful for example if you create a bunch of images at your site let's say my jpg image dot jpg and for example you create my png but png and suppose you want to target only the jpg images and want to do something with these jpg images so what you'll do is you'll do my img src as we have src down there and what we'll do is when you lose a dollar sign and we'll type jpg or rather a dot jpg so this would ensure us that we are targeting all the jpeg images so let's try to reload this and since the images don't exit but you can see that this jpg browser this image is turned into a black background so that's how you target the last of the string and that's how you target the initial beginning of a string so okay so the last thing I would like to discuss with you is the not selector now by not what I mean is let's say uh, let's say I have a div of ID um, ABCD anything would go hello world and I have an ID or let's just make classes class mm, hello world again so uh, let's target this div and suppose I want to select let's say I have another div hello world 3 and so on I've got divs down here so I want to target all these divs except this ABCD class having the div having the class as ABCD so how we'll do is we'll do div not inside this our class name or our ID name if you wish to and then we'll just use the normal jQuery methods so I'll use color red so what it's doing is it's targeting every div not having the class ABCD so basically we are targeting every div except this which has the class ABCD so let's reload this in browser and as you can see every div not having the class ABCD is converted or basically has been applied the CSS color red so these were some of the special selectors I would have liked to discuss with you and now when you know these selectors go ahead and do some your own codes with these selectors and in the upcoming tutorials we'll discuss more about these selectors and would we'll learn more about such event methods 
So that's all for this tutorial. Uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.